Now to the major court victory for a California man taking part in a George Floyd protest back in 2020. This is a case that could have big implications across the country. Deion Jones suing the LAPD officer he says shot him with a rubber bullet. The jury agreeing the accused officer uh, should be held personally responsible. And I get a chance to sit down with Deion uh, for this exclusive conversation on what this verdict means to him and possible future cases like this one. I'm just grateful that we had uh, a jury that decided in our in our favor. Um, I believe that they saw the truth. A federal jury in Los Angeles this month awarded Deion Jones close to $400,000 in a landmark case against an LAPD officer accused of shooting at Jones during one of many mass protests in 2020 following the death of George Floyd. The verdict is believed to be the first of its kind in which an individual LAPD officer was held personally liable by a jury for his actions. Jones says he had been marching with a friend in LA's Fairfax district when they say they decided to move to a less chaotic area, a Trader Joe's parking lot. We found ourselves in the area closer to the Trader Joe's and the crowd of people who were either recording, had their hands up, or doing nothing at all. And then you have a police officer fire into that crowd. Peter Bueno, a veteran officer and a member of the LAPD's elite metropolitan division, denies shooting Jones. He testified he had attempted to shoot an unidentified protester who threw a water bottle at him. Jones was shot in the face with a rubber bullet fracturing his cheekbone. I'm reminded of uh, what my ophthalmologist said. He said if the bullet was an inch to the left, it would have hit your temple. If it was an inch, to the right, you would have been blinded. So I would have been dead or blind. During the trial, in addition to body camera images from various officers that day, the jury was shown an enhanced body camera video, which Jones's attorney provided to ABC News with highlights. Seen here, images the defense says proved it was Officer Peter Bueno who fired in the direction of Jones and other protesters. Not only do Jones's attorneys say this is the first time an LAPD officer was found liable for injuring a protester, but Jones's case might set a precedent when it comes to future cases that are similar. We now have an example with our case that you can take it all the way. We have an example that officers cannot brutalize uh, peaceful protesters. Orrin Snyder, Jones's lead attorney, says the verdict represents vindication in a broader context. Protest is part of the fabric of our democracy. Um, it is essential to our democracy. And if protesters fear excessive police force during peaceful demonstrations, it will chill uh, essential First Amendment activity. The verdict um, makes clear that there will be accountability going forward. Uh, if officers violate the constitutional rights of protesters. Officer Bueno, a member of the department for more than 25 years, is still on the force and following an internal investigation was cleared of any wrongdoing. While the LAPD declined to comment, Officer Bueno's attorney, Janine Jeffrey, says her client plans to appeal the verdict and offered this response in part saying, we respectfully disagree with the jury's decision. For over one year after the incident, Mr. Jones gave a description of Officer Bueno that was not even close to Officer Bueno's physical appearance. Furthermore, Officer Bueno was in a very different location than the person identified by Mr. Jones and Jones's expert as the shooter. These inconsistencies combined with the inaccurate description and location of Officer Bueno demonstrate that Officer Bueno did not shoot Mr. Jones. So the case was essentially uh, filed in two phases. Uh, talk about the second portion of the case holding the city of Los Angeles accountable as well as the LAPD. We are looking for a systemic change in how these police officers interact with peaceful protesters because it, it shouldn't happen to me, it shouldn't happen to anybody. Snyder says he hopes the second phase of the case ignites widespread change. Look, the second case is about the systemic failure, the systemic breakdown, the systemic lapses that were so evident. I hope that we all believe that Americans and the citizens of Los Angeles can go out there and peacefully protest and don't have to worry about getting shot in the face with a rubber bullet. Now, Jones says he no longer feels any pain from the injuries he sustained that day, but he did say that he does have trouble sleeping. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.